Arling Sports back with another video. This time I'm playing uh, Pancake House. I just recently picked it up for like 450. It was on sale. So, so this is uh, kind of like Call of Duty Zombies, but uh, with maybe a tenth of the budget of wave-based survival. You know, I just thought it had a kind of a cool name, Pancake House. A little something different. We have done like uh, French toast over pancakes, but so there's no online play. This game would be a little more fun if it was um, online as well. I'll be using the aim gun, but you can also use the motion controllers. Jim and I arrive at Grey Moon City without speaking to each other. We're exhausted from all the battle and abrasions that we've suffered throughout our countless battles on our way here. The including you and me, how many survivors do we think are going to be left in this world? Mankind is doomed. Even the survivors will slowly rot to death. So right off the bat, I noticed that they have the, uh, the snap turning, like 45 degree angle turning. So when you press left to right, it kind of quickly uh, switches the camera a little bit to the left or to the right, which is uh, kind of takes you out of uh, immersion a little bit. So I usually try to change it to smooth turning, but there's no option on this game to change that. And there's no tutorial either, but I figured out right away what to do with those uh, little barricades. Another thing that kind of annoys me slightly is uh, it doesn't really have like 3D audio. So like the zombies when they're growling and stuff, they kind of sound like they're right next to you even though they're far away. So it kind of threw me off a little bit. I was thinking someone was right behind me, but they were really far away.
Jim, I think it would be more helpful if you just come here and shoot. What do you think, buddy? Not bad for the little five bucks that I spent for it. Yeah. Not too many complaints. Arlene Sports, signing out.